get my brother an escape path out of his place so he can uh he's not trapped by plowed roads that's the mission this is a little ski 300 freestyle that i used to have my brother has it now i was impressed by how well this thing could go through the snow got it set up with summit skis the neat thing about these they were only 32 inches wide <laughs> he's got like a polar ski on that side <laughs> um but oh so this thing's a tippy bastard uh it threw me off in the riverbed for like just decided to it caught an edge um not exactly something to ride at higher speeds my kids hated this machine so it's good for exploring in the woods it gets around really well this is what i was telling in my other video and there was something i'd read about in forums these would pack snow in front of them so i'm thinking if we put ski skins on it like the vk get that front end up to float it'd be pretty impressive about it see because all it is, is just sitting there doing nothing for me i don't have any ski dues well, except for that uh 440 and i'm not gonna change that into a longer track i'll just keep it stock this is fun because he's you can tell the difference he's got a tighter turning radius than i do gonna kind of suck ass. Stella's. Yeah, I bet your dogs would probably sink in this stuff. This first, I'm just going by memory from like years ago. I remember it kind of, and then I always forget, which I was amazed this thing fit in by my plow truck in the white van. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to fit, but it actually did. No, it's cool because the, you're so much more agile and nimble. You're able to, you're going through here way faster than I could go. This thing doesn't turn very tight. Oh. So I just had to plow over some stuff. But it's so heavy, I, it's like a four-wheeler. You can just kind of crush stuff down. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mean to make it too... Oh, no, know. it's good. I don't care. But that it's, um, definitely puts down a nice track, though. That yeah. Way, Is yeah. this the direction we should go? towards South, towards the sun? Yeah. Okay. So. You want to go first? Do you want me to go? Uh, I'll go first. Yeah, I don't want to get into it. I, didn't, I always forget that's like a big rig, you know. That's fine.
okay that it makes it like a 144 but you'd be short so you just keep your tight turning radius then put some big float skis on that little guy and uh maybe a skid plate off something and it would uh it would be go it would be a very capable little machine that 300 is pretty neat because it doesn't have any power so it, it doesn't spin the track and the way the power comes on is smooth. It's like this VK. Oh, there's some ptarmigan up there. So you can um, just gently get, go through the powder without spinning all the time and, and sinking the track. off his sled. Uh, is he stuck? I'll have to circle back. Oh no! Oh no! That's all right. I think I could, oh she, I think I could pull your ski. You know, you got those bungees. We should uh, flip your flap up. Yeah. So you think if I pull your ski, you could pop out? I hope so. Ready on three, one, two, three. No oh, shit. <laughs> okay, on three, one, two, three. Yeah, this little guy will just, it's amazing what it will climb out of. Yeah. Yeah, you got a Leatherman? I forgot mine. 
we can just put a hole in it and hell we can either run a yeah I got caught a branch and it just stopped me oh I'm gonna take I'm gonna burn it up I'm gonna take my helmet off Whew. towards that mountain so there's a natural path yeah that's an old remember those roads yeah back in the 80s they put some roads in through here that they never used I just sunk I think we're better off going that way. We got that big thing is in my way. Circle, go through there. I dressed way too warm for today. I should have worn my hoodie. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and he got out anyway. <sighs> oh. oh, I wouldn't want to walk out of here without snowshoes. straight line I thought it was the trail and it wasn't but uh yeah maybe we make our way through there you want to lead it almost I mean it's nice it's like a garage you want to lead or want me to lead oh you're good at it aren't you? <laughs> yeah I think it was a snow mirage oh I'm fucking older you know it's gonna get me and I'm gonna get all mad I think this windshield is going to be my summertime or my springtime windshield that I cut the thing down so you can see over it. Seems like there's a lot of tracks. 
makes me wonder if they're going to get on a trail going. Yeah. You see those little clouds? Yeah. Could that be the crossway? I don't know exactly where we're at. Yes. Part of the fun. I'm gonna go that way. Okay. Super cool, we fucking made it. Now the thing would be to do the loop and go back through it and see if it's easy to follow and all that. Maybe. How much faster? Like go all the way back around or just backtrack the way we came? What's that? Le I, like backtrack the way we came or go all the way around? I was thinking all the way around. I'd, rather, I'd like to do that though when it's uh. Let the trail set up overnight. Oh yeah, that's true. <clears throat> because all those alders are gonna be like in our way. Now that we have a trail, I can come with the dog and snowshoes and flag it and then uh, cut the brush at this level and then be able to find it in the summer. Yeah. I gotta get my hammer now that I got a spot where I can put it. Yeah, there's only like four dollars in a Napa bin. This is what's awesome. Satellite image. Wow. So there's the trailer park. God, we were right across. That's crazy. I went to thought we were that far in. Yeah. I was actually wanting to hit right maybe more over here, but this is okay. This is kind of like a triangle to go from here to here. Yeah. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. Neat. That's cool.